all the time as an editor. It's not always about when you cut, but when you don't cut. The first time I read something, I just want to be the audience. I just want to forget what I know, you know, pretend that I'm in the theater with my popcorn and my Diet Coke, and I just want to start watching the script, right? And seeing how I feel about it as I'm, as I'm traveling through it and not try to get into the minutia, right? Because if, what ends up happening is, is if you are flipping the pages and there is a flow and you're wanting to get to the next page, right? That's telling you something already about the momentum of a film or the pace of the film, or if it's engaging you and you just, you're, you're like in it, right? But at the same time, I find that if I'm reading something and then suddenly I, got, I stop it and I have to go back, to clarify something, that also tells me something about the script. Then the second time I read it, then I start to kind of look at more specific things like transitions, like how are they getting in and out of scenes? And are there times when I feel like somebody's telling me something that they're gonna show me? Are they, are they leading me through a story or are they giving me a chance to discover it? I think it's really important to, while you're working, um, and while you're, you're trying to build up your resume, while you're trying to build up the opportunities to interview, that you really work on your communication skills and you work on your ability to read a script and then talk about, talk about the script. I mean, I, in some ways it sounds kind of strange, but you know, it, there's, nothing, there's nothing preventing you from reading. There's so many scripts out there and scripts that you can get a hold of. You know, if, if you feel that you're maybe not the best communicator, I would even, I would take a script, I would read it, and then I would do even a mock interview with, with one of your friends or, or somebody, or maybe another filmmaker, you know, where you practice talking about the script that you read and why did you like it and what, what things did you like about it and what questions might you talk to a director about because that's who you're going to be spending most of the time in the cutting room with. And most of the time you're going to be talking about story and problem solving. And so I, I just think that you, you, you just have to be able to show the person who you are, show the person that you can communicate, show the person and, and be constructive and, and be honest about what you're reading. And if you have questions, ask them. The biggest challenge, I think the first, first thing is just the sheer amount of footage you probably will be getting in <laughs> on those scenes because those are the types of scenes that do have a lot of things coming at you and you I think the trick is really not to get overwhelmed by it what might help you to get less overwhelmed is remember why the scene is there to begin with right okay so yeah you got tons and tons of footage and people are you know wielding swords and guns and hitting each other and that kind of thing. And yeah, you got to put it together. It's like a, a very, very super erector set, right? And at the same time, what are you trying to build and why are you there? You know, and what is the goal of each character within a fight scene or, or within that type of action? What, it, what, what is the whole point of it really? And I think that if you can kind of, in some ways, when you, you know, get to the meat of what you're trying to get through, then it becomes a little more manageable. Then try to break the fight scenes down to sections. Think of it as like, it's a dance, it's a choreography. And maybe what you do is maybe you don't wanna start at the beginning of the choreography. Maybe you wanna start in the middle of the fight or the middle of the chase scene. Maybe, it, it, and then work your way back where there's no rules. I mean, maybe you wanna start at the end because that there's something there that you know you can handle. Just begin, you know? And once you begin, it's gonna be okay.